Well, Julius, the high-end systems Solar Spot Pro 2000. This is very much, to my mind, in the category of big lights. It's certainly heavy. Yes, at 41 kilos, it is certainly heavy. I think a large part of that is accounted for by the optic train, which has a couple of just about everything you can think of. A couple of prisms, a couple of animation effects, yep. um, CMY, CMY color mixing, which is interesting because this is not a discharge fixture. Eight to 45 degree beam spread. Yep. Now, the light source in this, tell us about what's going on there. 600 watt bright white, so it's 6,900 degrees Kelvin. It's very blue. Yep. Um, we but, do have linear CTO to bring that back yeah. down to match it with other things. Uh, yeah, so it's a white LED source and then for color mixing we actually do that with um, you know, flags or, or shutters or whatever that are inserted into the optical path. It's, it's, it's towards the bright end when we looked at this against a couple of the big units at Intech. Yeah, we've seen this sitting they're, next, they're, to, they're all up there. next to discharge lamps yeah. of a thousand watts plus. Yeah. And uh, this is certainly holding its own in a very respectable way. It yeah. is big and heavy, but it is a very bright fixture. Yeah. Um, I do like the optics within this. I like that there's a couple of different fan modes and we, yeah. can, we can run it quite quietly if we need to. There's a studio mode. There is also, if you can sacrifice a bit of output and you're doing TV thing, this has a CRI of 75, but there's a high CRI version, which you lose a bit of output, but your you CRI jumps up to 90. Yeah. So uh, if that's if that's if that's, your big if that's deal. an important thing, that's that's certainly an option. Yeah, it's got the indigo, sort of a bit of a trademark uh, high end feature, isn't it? It is. It's uh, it's been on a lot of fixtures, um, and I think uh, it is something that sort of makes it instantly identifiable. Mm. Um, design wise, I'm I'm not an especially big fan of how it looks, but I am a big fan of these handles on the side of the yoke. Yeah, given the weight, um, um, we had no trouble getting this thing up on the gearbox bench here. Yeah, I think I think the handles certainly uh, yeah. make it very manageable. I like the case too. It had a pretty nifty. We'll put some cutaways on for that now. Yeah, you can see the case, top off, front off. Yeah, and the idea of the case is obviously you can take the take the lid off and then yeah, you know get just roll the case in underneath mm. your bar, attach them all, and then. Um, Lift your bar, yeah. roll the cases out. It's yeah, solid. you could it's potentially rig this without ever having to actually lift it. It's solid. It's it's touring. It's it's a tourable unit, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Um, plastic enclosure. Interesting. Uh, there's a fair bit of heat that comes out the back of it, which yeah. I think gives a you know, gives away the the output of the source. Uh, mm. They I think they quote twenty six thousand lumens output from the fixture. Yep. Um, rated. Pardon me, rated lifespan is, uh, I think you're still getting more than 70% output at 50,000 hours, which is years. Mm. So look, that's a, the Solar Spot Pro. I think it's definitely a big jump up from its predecessor. Mm. Um, and it's a good thing.